If you're a salesperson, I bet you're not living in your CRM system every day. And I also bet you kind of hate having to do all of the data entry because you just want to be getting on with selling, right? Let's have a look at what Viva Sales is doing inside Outlook to change that. I've got an email here from a potential new customer. All the data here is completely fake, by the way. This is not a real person. And I can see straight away I've got my Viva Sales panel inside Outlook and it tells me that this person is not in my CRM system. Watch this. How many clicks to do the data entry do you reckon? Here we go. Add. That's one click. Peter Bowers, general manager. General manager, we've got the business phone, we've got the mobile phone. Save. That was two clicks <laughs> to do the data entry into my CRM system. And there it is, all created in Dynamics. Now you don't actually even need to switch back into the CRM. I'm just going there to show you what is going on underneath, but you're going to stay happily in Outlook. Now what happens if we are working with a customer who we've already got some back and forth and an existing opportunity on? Let's take a look here at Sandra who has emailed about another project and we've got some existing email threads here where she's asked for some requirements. We've emailed back. This is one of my favorite themes. How's this? summary of this thread. Sandra inquired about a website design services. Lisa provided a proposal and Sandra requested a meeting. Boom. How good is this? Now even better. Single click here. Save summary. And that is going to save that back against that opportunity already existing in my CRM because this is something I'm working on here. There's two opportunities I've got going. So web design project, we're going to click save. So that was two clicks to create a contact, two clicks to save a summary of an email thread back into the CRM. Let's also take a look at that one inside the CRM. So I can scroll down here and we will see that there is my AI generated note summarized from Viva Sales with everything that happened in that email. Now, you can also bring other things into the cards here on the side. So the other important part, in addition to summarizing emails and creating contacts, is I can go across here into Dynamics and I've got all this information in context of my email. So I've got information about the person, the opportunities and the account. And you'll see there with the opportunities that it's got the estimated close date and the account name. We're going to change that in a minute. Let's click through here into Dynamics 365 for Sandra. And here is all of the additional detail here of the contact, the opportunities and the account. So if I go in here to the contact information, you'll see that I can edit this. Let's say I've realized that that phone number was wrong or her job title was changed or something like that. I can make all of those changes and that will go straight back through into Dynamics 365. With my opportunities here, there's no option to do that. So let's change that. Now, this is something that your administrator can do, and it's just a one off thing. The way we do the administration and configuration of Viva Sales is in Microsoft Teams. So first time you do this, we're going to go to the left hand rail and click on the three dots there. And you want to search for the app for Viva Sales. Once you've found that, if this is something that you're doing as an administrator, you want to right click and pin that to the side. I've already got it pinned there. From here, we're going into settings and now you have got a very, very easy configuration experience. First up, those lovely email options that allow you to do generative AI replies and to get that summary that I've just shown you, you want to tick those things on and enable them here if they aren't already ticked on. And then with your forms, contact opportunity account, this controls which pieces you're seeing in those cards as well as the short descriptions. So if I go into contact here, you'll see the contacts we do allow editing in here and we're seeing first name, last name, job title, email and so on. Now let's say I also wanted to do the street address in here because this is something that we might want to work with. I can come in here and find that. Let's say I just wanted the, the city so that I can see where they are and just add that in. And let's say that I didn't want a business phone, then I could choose to remove that. And you've also got the option here to allow people to edit any of those things. So this will also extend to any custom fields. If you've configured your CRM, it will allow you to bring those in there and then we can publish and we're good to go. Now the opportunity form there, I wanted to change this. Firstly, I want to change it so that I can allow editing of the opportunities because I want my salespeople to be able to do all of their updates in Outlook. Why wouldn't you? And so now the key fields we saw earlier, we had the estimated close date and the account. I'm going to switch that over because actually I want to see estimated close date and estimated revenue in there. And let's publish that. 
and that's good to go. You can do the same thing with accounts here. So if we go back to account, you might also choose that you want to turn on editing for that and save all of those changes too. So let's go back to the Outlook experience and see what's happened. We'll give this a refresh. And now my Dynamics 365 panel in Viva Sales shows me the opportunity with the estimated revenue. That also makes it easier if you're using these little shortcuts to search for things, to track the emails, and you can track emails here as well, then that makes it easier to find. Let's go into the contact record here and have a look at the full details. So now we have got the city, which we added in there earlier, and I can also go in and edit that opportunity record if I would like to. Now there is a heap more going on. This is just a quick introduction to those core things. You can track emails in here. You can generate email replies. It can pick up meeting times from your calendar. And there's a roadmap of very cool stuff coming here, as well as a lot of stuff coming through from Teams. If you found this valuable that you'd like to see more, please give this video a like and pop anything in the comments that you've got questions about. And stay tuned for more here on Viva Sales and what you can do with it to make your sellers' lives a whole lot easier.